not every day It's not every day It's not every day You get this type of opportunity It's your moment to shine Your moment in time It's not every day It's not every day You get this type of opportunity It's your moment to shine Your moment in time It's not every day You get this type of opportunity It's me again, baby In the studio, yeah, I'm not lazy I ain't with that mainstream And Beyonce needs to stop acting lazy I'm glad this album ain't no Magna Carta Jay-Z Say hi to me now, but I'ma hang around I'ma tell you guys a story In a minute, sit tight I'll stay on this song This outro ain't lost in the world Not leaving all the song to Bon Iver Put your hands in the air None of your music lifers It's not every day It's not every day It's not every day You get this type of opportunity Moment to shine Your moment in time It's not every day It's not every day It's not every day Hasta la vista, baby To be honest with everybody who is listening right now, I never wanted to be a rapper. I was usually just a basketball player my whole life, never had to work. My parents pretty much did everything for me, like Drake. I mean, I played AAU, was on middle school, high school basketball teams, made it to college and played it out there. Ended up making it to the NBA, which no one was really surprised about. I mean, I'm (laughs) 6'7". Ever since I was like six feet in middle school, people were telling me that I was going to play basketball at a high level. Right now, I play for the Milwaukee Bucks, but we're a really bad team. Last season, we were swept by Chris and LeBron, who play for the Heat. It would do wonders to be on a good team for once. At least Giannis shows some promise. I've been thinking about quitting the Bucks, using my upcoming free agency and going out to San Francisco, but nothing's for sure, even on the Warriors. I like their coach and all, and they got Curry, Bogut, and Iggy, but one year a team can win the title and next year be in the lottery. Nothing's for sure. I live in Milwaukee most of the year. It is very cold. My pool and water fountain all is freeze because I forget to cover them up and they sometimes break. It gets expensive. My kids are doing okay too. They aren't too smart, but they have a rich dad in me and have a lot of nice things and they can play basketball too. When I had them, I didn't know they would grow up this fast. DeAndre's getting pretty old. He's like 11 and Jamaro is seven. My other kid Dominique is like 10. They go to public school, are in kind of just normal classes, not too good, but they're, they're good kids. Hope they play basketball. Playing pro basketball has made me very rich. I have a couple of mansions, and when I say mansions, these are rich white guy type mansions. They are dope. I got elevators, paintings of orca whales, and some fly cars. To be honest, my life could not get much better. Now, I can go to any restaurant I want to and literally order the most expensive thing on the menu a hundred times and still afford the champagne. I'm getting that Chris Move paper, man. <laughs> the NBA season is getting ready to be over. We aren't making the playoffs. Actually, to be honest to you, we are the worst team in the whole NBA. We have won like 15 games all year. Telling you what, it'll be a miracle if I don't head out of this North Pole after the summer. I mean, I love Milwaukee city-wise, but don't come here to play sports, you heard? My sports life for the most part is fine though. I get a nice amount of points per game and my blocks and defensive rating have been up lately. I'm going to get first team all NBA for sure. There is no way even Kevin Durant can honestly beat me. I'm at the top of my game, son. But you know what again, the reason I'm talking right now is you'll know my rap stories, so let's get into it. 
I started rapping when I didn't have anything to do a couple seasons ago. I listened to some mainstream rap, Jay-Z and some other guys. I wasn't a huge music fan ever until nowadays. In 2010, I started really getting into rap. I like Wiz Khalifa, a Pittsburgh rapper who really taught me, not literally in person, but through his music, the importance of a good hook on a song. About Wiz, man, I loved his debut mainstream single, Black and Yellow. It was awesome, man. I ha it had a pop feel to it, but it gave real bars to me and inspired me to this day. I used to blast at my Lambo back in the day. But a really tall basketball player rapping? Surely not even Gary Dotson could be better than Shaq and Kobe. I mean, that's what people think. Shaq and Kobe were horrible rappers. They were straight up awful, no hits, no good albums. Athletes uh, who rap are usually fails. But I'm not a fail, I've hit it big time, man. But it's time for me to start from the beginning of Malibu Music. Malibu Music is named after the brand of car I had in college at Florida State. I drove a Navy Chevy Malibu. It was awesome, man. Broke down in time, but the memories, man. Malibu Music Group was created to be the supreme place for quality music to be made. Over time, I've signed some dope artists as well. 2011, I was in Miami and walking down the street. I had just gotten out of the polo store, and one of my favorite artists at the time, Dish of Alfredo, was walking back from the polo store as well. Then I started to talk to Dish, and he invited me into the recording studio. I got in the studio, sat down by all the sound knobs, but then I spilled my soda on the keyboard. <laughs> Dish was really angry and told me I could never rap. You see, that's part of my motivation. I went home, watched some videos on how to rap, but they didn't do anything for me. It wasn't until I met up with DJ Lights Out when I got some good beats because I don't produce. My first hip hop song for dad was just about me calling my dad after I stole Grand Theft Auto 5 and beat up the cashier and got arrested. Had me rapping in Miller Wessonson on the outro. Alright, now it's time for me to talk about Miller. Miller Westinson, man, I was in Toronto, Canada, picking up some pizza when this skinny, short Canadian kid comes up to me asking for some of my pizza. I told him no, and that I was taking it to the studio. Then he told me how he was looking for a record deal and how he had a unique low falsetto voice. So Miller and I went to the studio that night and recorded for Dad. It was a milestone in my rap career for sure. After that I started meeting other singers like Lord Anderson and my Malibu music group kind of developed. Now I got a young kid named Jaquarius Smith who's going to be great in the future. Thug World in my mind was an independent album. I wasn't offered the record deal by Dish until I burned down Hollister. I'd already made some of my songs on the album before that. I remember when I got the record deal and drove the two hours to Chicago from Milwaukee to see Dish. And when I got in the studio, Dish told me, don't touch anything. <laughs> But little did he know that I would end up being a, even a bigger success than he was. Ooh, man, ever since I made it in music, it's been kind of crazy. <laughs> I, I have short white kids now come up to me singing songs like I'm a monster and apologize, asking for my autograph or a selfie with me. I never thought white kids would want to take pictures with me. Anyway, the most emotional track I have ever made was apologize. It has to be I was at the police station signing all these community service papers when the idea came to me that I could make a song about this terrible event. When I burned down Hollister, I walked in the store at the Milwaukee Mall, the, the big one, and took out a big lighter, sprayed cologne on a pair of guy's jeans and put the lighter that was lit in the jeans pocket. Then I knocked the cashier out with a punch to the face and dragged him outside to the Forever 21 store. I'm certainly not proud of what I did. But it's not what we did in the past, it's what we do now, man. Like I said in my skit changed man, I've authentically repented. I've really changed the way I live. The emotion, the disharmony of incompletion. Wh why the title? Wh why do you name that? People ask me that all the time. You know what? There is a certain disharmony with everything we do. Whether it be rap, sports, or school, there will always be something we could have completed or done better. That is because we are humans. We make mistakes. But 
Every day we have a choice to do our best and strive to be the best like me or to quit and allow the disharmony ruin our lives, making us do things like stealing video games or burning down a clothing store we hate. This album is dedicated to Malibu Music, who are the innovators in music to this day. Ladies and gentlemen, you just heard the emotion, the disharmony of incompletion.